magicians here in the Magic Castle, and a lot of them do card magic. Well, I didn't want to duplicate any of the effects the other magicians were doing, so I decided I would duplicate them all. <laughs> Tonight, what I would like to try and do is every card effect in the world in under 10 minutes, <laughs> ending up with the famous mentally selected card in the balloon, and to make it even more difficult, I'm going to find 52 mentally selected cards and deal out four aces from a shuffle deck. Does that sound like a good trick, huh? Yeah, yeah. 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 I kind of wish I could do that one. <laughs> okay, well, I'll give it a shot. Okay, every card trick in the world, under 10 minutes. Now, if I had someone think of a card and later on I found it in the balloon, you would think that I had something prearranged. So what, this is a little random spectator selector. I'm going to blow it up. I'd like for someone to catch the balloon. Thank you. <laughs> Don't try it the hard way. Someone catch the balloon. Okay, did someone catch it? Would you think of a card, any card in the deck, but don't think of the ace of spades, because everyone thinks of that. Okay? Now, uh, here it is. Every card trick in the world in under 10 minutes, and to make it more difficult, everyone think of a card. And I'll try and find your cards also. Okay? A deck of cards. Poker-sized deck. I always use a poker-sized deck because they're a little bit easier to see. We'll place those right there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I think that the problem comes at the end of the trick when I have to put it back in the box. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Here we go. 52 different cards. Okay, what I'm going to do, first of all, I will shuffle the deck. Now, I think you'll agree those cards are being shuffled. We'll shuffle the deck. And uh, everyone's thinking of a card. I'm going to have some people select a card. Sir, you're up here close. Would you just say stop anytime you want as I go through the pack? Stop. Okay, would you like to stop there or go further? Stop right there. Right there. Look, would you take that card and look at it? Can you see that card? Yes, sir. Okay, whatever you do, don't forget it, please. Okay, now, and uh, you're close. Uh, well, you're close. Would you say stop anywhere? Stop. <coughs> right there? Or go further? Stop. Right there. Would you look at that card? Uh -huh. And remember what it is. Everyone help her right there? Okay, now you think of a card. You, you, you've got a card in your mind. Now I'm going to shuffle the cards again. I think you'll agree those cards are being shuffled. And uh, let's see, who else has one? Um, okay, did you t pick one here? Would you say stop? Stop. Would you look at that card? Remember what it is. Okay, I'll leave it exactly where it is in the pack. And uh, sir, what did you, you didn't pick a card. No. But would you say stop anywhere in the pack? Stop. Would you look at that card and remember what it is? Okay, now we have four cards. You're thinking of each one thinking of a card. I'm going to try and find the first card here. Now, I found I can cut to exactly 26 cards. So what I have to do is to shuffle the deck, getting your card to exactly 26. Okay, now that did it. Now, one simple cut, look. <laughs> and that puts your card exactly 26. Now it's a simple matter of cutting to the 26th card. One card jumped out. What was your card? Ace of Hearts. Ace of Hearts. Ooh, there it is. Okay, Ace of Hearts. Let's try it again. Uh, who took the next one? You, you've got one. What was your card? Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. I'm going to uh, shuffle your card to a certain position. Would you name a number between 20 and 30? Any number? 25. 25. I'm going to shuffle your ace of diamonds to exactly 25 cards down. Now I'm going to take this gentleman's ace of hearts, toss it up into the air, have it spin around 25 times, and land right next to your ace of diamonds. I hope. Here you are. Here it goes. There it goes. Up into the air, landing right next to the 25th card. That's 25. I'll prove it to you. Look, there's two, three, 15, 23, 20, 25, right there. <laughs> now I'll leave them exactly right there. Now had I got one card lower, I would have got this card, or one card higher, I would have got any one of these cards, but I hit right there, and what was your card again? Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds, let's see. Sometimes I miss. Now, I didn't that time, that's close enough. <laughs> let's try it again. I'll shuffle the cards up. Okay, what card did you take, sir? Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds, and what card did you take? Ten of spades. Ten of spades, okay, watch. One little cut here like this, 
and the ten of spades automatically comes to the top of the deck. Sometimes. <laughs> I'll try it again. Look, one little cut, and it automatically comes to the top of the deck. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll make up for it. Here's what I'll do. I'll just do this little move like this, and I'll find all four tens for you at one time. How's that? Okay, and you, sir, chose the, what was it? Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds, watch. I'm going to shuffle the eight of diamonds to a certain position in the pack, dealing out E, I, G, H, T, O, F, D, I, A, M, O, N, D, S, period. <laughs> and automatically we get the H, A of diamonds. Okay, everyone's thinking of a card. Uh, who thought of the two of spades? <laughs> Nobody? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to believe this. But I knew no one would think of the two of spades, so I thought of it myself. <laughs> now, had you thought of the two of spades, I could just take my hand, wave it over the deck, and you notice the two of spades slowly comes rising out of the center of the deck. Okay? That's one. I promised I would find all 52. I'm going to give them one more shuffle. Okay? Everyone's thinking of a card. Okay, who thought of a red card? Raise your hand. Red card. Okay, now if you thought of a red card, there's your card. If you thought of a black card, there's your card. Thank you. Okay. A lot of people say, is it possible after all that shuffling to deal yourself four aces? Well, the answer is no. <laughs> you see, I wouldn't do that because there's only one hand that would beat that, and that would be a royal flush, which we have right here, a ten, a jack, a queen, a king, and the ace of spades. Uh -oh. Yeah, the, the hard part comes now putting the cards back in this little box. So um, I work out a way of doing this. If that ever happens, what you need is a little bit of shrinking powder. I have some right here. You take the shrinking powder, you sprinkle it over the deck. Oops, <laughs> don't spill it on yourself. <laughs> and, oh my God, this is incredible. I wish you could see this close up. Those cards are shrinking. They're getting smaller, they're getting smaller, they're getting smaller until they fit right back into that little box. <laughs> I think I put a little bit too much. If that ever happens, you're in trouble. <laughs> Yeah, every card trick in the world in under 10 minutes. We're running out of time. Watch. Not only that, if I snap my fingers, the cards jump back into my pocket. <laughs> other than that, <laughs> other than that, the deck has turned blue. If I take the cards out of the box, you notice the card case does not shrink. No, okay. Not only did they not shrink, and not only did every card in the deck turn blue, they have all turned blank. Every card in the deck is blank. Other than that, if I take my hand, I rub it, get a little static electricity, I wave my hand over that blue deck very slowly. Watch what happens. You see, every card in that deck turns red. <laughs> Not only did every card in that deck turn red, all of them turned red except one card, which remained blue. Who caught the balloon? What card were you thinking of? Three of diamonds. Would that be a good trick if that was your card? Yes. No, that's my Visa card. <laughs> <laughs> no, not only did the card turn blue, your card has jumped inside of my coat pocket. Not this one here. This one here. <laughs> yeah, you ever seen a magician's coat before? That's what they look like, yeah. No, not only has your card jumped inside of my pocket, it has jumped inside a zippered wallet not only has it jumped into a zippered wallet, it has jumped inside here into a sealed envelope. It has expanded to five times its original size. The back has changed back to red. There is my signature. One of these corners do match. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, your card. <laughs> try it again. I promised I would end up with someone just merely thinking of a card and having it appear in a balloon, right? Watch. All of that. You've heard of the card in the balloon? This is the balloon in the card. 
See, we have a little balloon. Now all that remains is to pop that balloon, finding your card. What was the card you just thought of? Three of diamonds. Three of diamonds, watch. All we do is this, we pop the balloon, we get the three of diamonds, giving us every card effect in the world. Thank you. Thank you.